basic assets, equity, and liabilities. Businesses will usually have the following basic assets, equity, and liabilities, although others are also possible. We are just going to study a few of the simpler ones to start with, and then as your skills develop, we'll add others. Assets and liabilities can be divided into both current and non-current. This simply refers to the length of time that you would expect to have the asset, or how long it will take before it's converted into cash. The same goes for liabilities. Current refers to something in the short term. In other words, things like bank, because it's already cash, as well as debtors, stock, etc., because you don't expect to keep them for a very long time. You would certainly hope that your stock would sell quite quickly. Non-current refers to those things that you would expect to keep for quite a long time, such as your vehicles and your equipment, machinery in the factory, etc. Let's have a look at some specific examples. Non-current assets would include items such as land and buildings, which refers to the property owned by the business, Vehicles, which would be the delivery vans, motorbikes, etc., that are used to generate an income for the business through delivering goods. It would also include equipment, which could be furniture, computers, factory machinery, cell phones, anything that is going to be used. And investments, which refers to when the business invests money somewhere. This might be in a fixed deposit or it might simply be something like a money market account where you put the money in and you expect to leave it in for quite a long time. Current assets, on the other hand, are those that you want to have available as cash very quickly. The only ones that we are going to look at right now are bank and cash float. Both of these are in fact already cash, so it should be quite easy to see why we classify them as current assets. Bank refers to all the money in your business bank account. Please do keep in mind that if you ha have an overdrawn account balance, in other words we call it a bank overdraft, then in fact your bank would no longer be an asset but a liability as you would owe money to the bank. Don't worry about that too much for now though. Cash float refers to the money that is kept in the till to use as change. When your customer comes in to pay you with a 100 or 200 rand note, you need to be able to give them back the amount that you owe them. So you would always have a, um, a collection of coins and smaller notes in the till. This is known as your cash float, and it is usually a set amount. In your equity, for now we are just going to worry about the obvious ones. Capital, for money invested by the owner into the business, and drawings, which is where the owner takes money out of the business. Remember that the owner is running a business in order to make some money. Obviously, the profits that the business makes is the money that the owner would be entitled to. When he takes money out of the business from these profits, this is called drawings. The liabilities that we need to worry about right now would be a loan. This is money that is borrowed by the business that will be repaid at a later stage. Let's now have a look at 4.4 example. This requires you to show the effect of these transactions on the accounting equation. When you're not sure what you should do, think back to the Smarties activity. Go back to basics and remember the simple rules. Number one, identify the two accounts involved. Number two, classify them as assets, equity or liabilities. And then lastly, decide whether they would increase or decrease. Once you have done that, do not forget to check that the equation does still balance. If you have a look at number one here, the owner introduces 150,000 Rand capital into the business. This is very similar to the first transaction in our Smarties activity. The two accounts that are affected are bank and capital. As we're receiving 150,000 Rand into the business, and equity increases as the owner has contributed money. We will show bank increasing under the assets column with a plus 150,000 and an owner's equity 
we will show capital as increasing with 150,000. Check that your equation balances. Plus 150,000 equals plus 150,000, so we can be happy. Number two, received a loan from brilliant bankers for 20,000 Rand. In this case, we again received money, so bank is affected. The other account is a loan. Very often, you can easily see the name of the other account in the transaction as it is given to you. Here it tells you, received a loan. Bank is an asset. So in assets, we show plus 20,000 for bank increases. Mm. And a loan is a liability. So we show plus 20,000 for loan increases. Plus 20,000 equals plus 20,000. So we can be happy. Number three. Equipment is purchased from OfficeMart for 5,000 Rand, paid cash. This is a reminder that bank is involved, as it says, you paid cash. The other account is mentioned in the transaction, equipment. Classify these, and you will see that in fact both of them are assets. Don't let this alarm you, this is quite alright. Show under the assets column, plus 5,000 as equipment increases, and minus 5,000 as bank decreases. If you check your equation now, plus 5,000 minus 5,000 equals zero. That is correct. Number four, the owner cashes a check for 2,000 Rand for his personal use. In this case, the two accounts involved would be bank because he cashed a check, as well as drawings. Remember that we said drawings refers to any time that the owner takes money out of the business for himself. In this case, the words for his personal use are the indication that you need to use the drawings account. As before, we will classify bank as an asset, and so in assets we will show minus 2000 for bank decreases. Hopefully, you will remember that drawings is shown as an owner's equity account, but one that decreases owner's equity. As such, owner's equity should have minus 2,000 for drawings. Minus 2,000 equals minus 2,000. Number five, repaid 10,000 Rand of the loan. Hopefully you can see that this should be the reverse of when we originally took the loan out in number two, as we are paying some of the money back again. It tells us that we repaid 10,000 Rand, so bank must be involved. The other account is loan, as this is the account that is referred to in the transaction. Bank is an asset, so in assets we show minus 10,000 for bank decreases. Loan is a liability, as it refers to money that is owed. However, in this case, since we are paying the money back, we owe less than we did before. And so, in liabilities, we show minus 10,000 as loan decreases. We check that our equation balances. Minus 10,000 equals minus 10,000. It is now time to do exercise 